Good morning, even though it's afternoon, it's like two o'clock. Uh, to, on today's docket is, it's raining. Yes, it's raining. Not bad. Oh, this driveway sucks. I gotta do something with it. But, uh, yeah, my neighbor doesn't do anything with it. We've got a tractor with a loader and a pile of asphalt over there, but she doesn't do anything with it. But anyways, not. I guess that's just her choice. Anyway, 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 I've already been to... Uh, horrible freight and I picked up a two-ton engine hoist that will handle that part that I'm going to go to the farm and rebuild. Uh, I went over there earlier today. Cody and Tim had taken a load of scrap. The scrap yard, we're cleaning up a lot of stuff. We have to clean up the stuff because I'm tired and sick and tired of looking at it. I've got old, old pieces of equipment that, you know, Nobody uses anymore. They're old antiques. I have an old spring tooth harrow from a brilliant, I believe. It's a brilliant spring tooth harrow. Uh, that one is on its, well, they must be throwing it up on there by now. Uh, what else do we need to do? The L8000 has sprung a leak on the primer bulb for the diesel fuel. So Timothy bought an aftermarket one, which isn't gonna work. So I'm gonna go up to Ford uh, in Washington and get that part as well. And, yeah what else is there to do there's just all kinds of stuff to do so that's what we're doing and i guess you can come along for the ride i picked up the tool truck today that was a new transmission i had to put a new transmission in it uh as sad as that is for a 2001 ford uh f-250 apparently those transmissions that were in there were just not very good but uh, he was a little surprised that the that the uh, the transmission was as, was out at 80 was it 83,000 miles is all that's on that truck but my dad drove that truck back and forth from the farm to the house for years and that's that's really the reason why it doesn't have many miles on it but they're you know the transmission never warmed up and apparently that's what caused the solenoids and the side to go bad or whatever to go bad um, but anyways it's supposed to be running really good so I'm gonna jump into that and go up and get these parts for this truck and uh, yeah that's what we're up to so hang on here we go so there it is I guess I can say okay so there it is um, it is a Chinese made obviously because you can't get these things that are made in the United States that I know of uh yeah it says it's a pittsburgh heavy duty now they just throw pittsburgh on there to make it think that it came from pittsburgh it is not from pittsburgh but uh, the one thing i did like about it is you can actually flip the uh you can flip up the uh the support legs and so that it takes up a lot less room as it's out on the floor here you can pick up a lot of stuff two tons is quite a bit i'll be able to fool with that thing there and when i do finally get that pump or this travel motor just so you know everybody that has helped out i appreciate it but nobody has that nobody has that i got a guy from rex roth that contacted me and he says he works for the company and nobody's got that so I have to deal with John Deere, and I have to pay him like four grand in order to get that. I'm very disappointed, very, very disappointed, because, and no, you cannot make one work that came off of a machine that isn't a John Deere or a CT332. It has to be that little bastard. So anyways, I'm gonna get to going on this thing. I'm gonna look at the book here. I pretty much, these things are pretty much self-explanatory anyway, so that's just, the long and the short of it so i'll get on to this and you will mysteriously see it all put together unless something crazy happens and nothing fits which is a huge possibility believe it or not a huge possibility okay so here it is magically assembled uh, i did read a comment somebody asked me if i was going to need a metric <coughs> a metric eye bolt to uh, hook it up uh i don't think so i'm just going to use a regular chain and hook it there and go up from there uh, it is dark. I wanted to go in and see my grandmother. She's not doing very well, and I just every day is a blessing when it comes to her anymore. So uh, we did not finish this. Uh, we actually didn't do anything to this tractor. Uh, we did some other things around. 
I uh, did get a phone call from John Deere and the 8530's Hydro will need to be replaced. It's kind of disheartening because anyways I got a text message. Um, it's a little disheartening because I spent $12,000 having that Hydro put in and now uh, as of today they're shipping that tractor out to the other dealership where they're going to uh, rip that brand new Hydro out and put in an updated one or one that will be that has all of its bugs worked out. I guess I should be grateful, which I am. Uh, it just kind of sucks that last year I had to have it replaced and this year they're going to replace it with the one that functions for free, you know, F-R-E-E, -E, free. So that happened. Um, the other thing that happened was the heater for this tractor, the 7530. This is the, uh, I don't know if I showed this or not, but this is the original one, okay? And it's burned up, it stinks, it smells bad. There's, there's, and this one is an updated one. And if you notice, the pipes are a little different in size. You see that? I don't know if you can. Can you see that? So the pipes are a little different in size and it is built different than what this one was. This one is completely sealed. This one you can tear apart. This one has different different plug than this one. So there's that one. And in here, there's another one that is different from that one yet. This is an even newer one. This is an even newer one. This is the wire that converts to that plug and right now that doesn't matter either because there is a service bulletin and they are going to service the entire thing they got all the parts they're coming in they're going to call me i'm going to pick them up and i get to put in new hoses new mounting bracket a totally different valve than what i've already got here i have to take four or five hundred dollars worth of valves back and then I get this whole kit and I get to put that in and then they're going to come out with their computer and program the, uh, yeah, they're going to program the controller for my heater. So I get to do that. Crazy stuff going on here. That's all. Now, someone said that I should just, yesterday or whatever, they said that I should pull a rubber plug out, a rubber plug out to pull that shaft out of there before I did take that apart. Well, I can honestly tell you, there is no rubber plug in there. <laughs> There's no rubber plug in there. Uh, I'm sorry, but there is no rubber plug in there to pull this shaft out. It doesn't exist. Um, it doesn't exist. It doesn't exist. And um, what is that? It doesn't exist. That's right. It's not there. So that shaft comes out and uh you can't you just can't there's no way of taking it out it's it's captive it's right here you see this that locking ring right there that's actually a stopper it's not a captive that's a stopper so yeah sorry about your luck i'm sorry but um your suggestion was cool but it wouldn't have worked so anyways this has been a long day of doing a lot of nothing oh i even went to get this okay so this is a yeah get this this is a leaky fuel filter housing off of the Ford L8000, right? And that is a primer bulb, a primer pump for it. So Timothy says, hey dad, I'm gonna get this, uh, get one off of eBay. They did, got this one, right? It works, right? Well, guess what? It's not the same, unfortunately. Oh, come on. It's not the same. The the uh, fittings are metric and they're o-ring style on that one and i have to go to a special place to get metric fittings to make that work so today i went to ford in washington new jersey and i was like hey i need this thing they want almost 200 dollars for that thing he paid 20 bucks for that one now, of course, $20 and it doesn't work, it's still pretty much worthless, but we can make it work. But $200? For the love of God. Anyway, I'm going home. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Oh, then I forgot what I was supposed to do. I came out here for a specific reason. 
and let's see, this is January. Is there a December? Is January? What's this? I don't see January. I don't see a December. So anyway, that's a time card. Yes, I pay my kids. They punch in. The clock is over there on the wall. I'm not paying for, I'm not just paying them blanket. They got to work. They got to punch in and work. So there.